This is the word of God's grace brought to you by the Standing Church International. We're a life-transforming church with a vision of raising a supernatural army for the Lord. Get ready to be blessed by God's word and experience miracles. So how to stand tall is what I'm teaching you this evening. And not just teaching you, but I'm bringing you into it prophetically. So what encounters do you need to stand tall in life? There are three. Number one is encounters with pictures. Number two, encounters with the power of God. The first one is encounters with pictures. The second one is encounters with power. If your head will be lifted high. If you will stand tall in this competitive environment, you must have encounters with the power of God. This happens through prayers. I'm not talking about that prayer because, you know, some people are so touched. They think that everything happens just naturally. You enter into office. And I don't know why Christians are still believing in all these superstitious things. Somebody was telling me about a Muslim in his workplace. If he's looking for something, he will fast for 100 days. His wife will be saying, I beg, I beg, I beg. Those are the people you are going to office. They are not saying you don't believe in all this. You don't, I don't, you know, I don't really believe in all this metaphysical, you know. God say, do you believe in jazz? You know, jazz, juju. That's what some people think it is, juju. That is where it exists in the imagination. It's just, a, you know, juju. Then you want to go. They are looking for who they will select for something. It's the Muslim they will pick ahead of you. And you say, are we not covering our children? Eliab. God is father. See, somebody that is chanting to a demonic spirit. Don't you know that he has reconfigured the environment on you? You're not going to say, you see, God used to answer Muslims' prayers too. God too used to answer their prayers. You see, theory. It's not God that is answering the prayer. As they are speaking those things, they are reconfiguring the atmosphere. And it will yield to them. Unless there's somebody that can stand higher. And then they'll be wondering why what they are doing is not working. This prayer, we are talking about stretches in prayers. Because it's when you go and start stretching in prayers like this, that your countenance changes, that your visit changes. Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration. As he began to pray, something changed about his visage. Suddenly, from the place of prayers, people will wonder what happened to you. You will come out, they will look at you. What happened to you? Your spirit will stand up. All those excuses you have been given about your personality. You won't be able to give it again. I'm just shy. You will come out of prayers like this. The way you are walking will change. Some of you don't even know that the way your heads are normally is like this. You will give contracts in billions to somebody that can't look into the eyes of people. Then you now read a book and say, your looks, your looks, learn to fix your gaze. Every time you carry your head like this to fix your gaze, your heart will bring your head back down. Because you can't read book and change your gaze. It must change from inside. It's as you are praying. It's only prayer that can produce the power that will enter into the core of your being and change your personality. Suddenly, a vibrant person will emerge. Suddenly, a person with strong will. This thing is mine or no one else's. You see, the aim of prayer, this type of prayer we are talking about, is not to get God's ears. It's to make power available. It's to release power. And if you start praying like this, then suddenly you will start seeing men responding to you differently. Some of you, when you are praying like this, you are praying and fasting. People that did not remember you before, they start calling you. It's because you are getting taller. And sometimes you will now stop. No, you need to stretch that thing. A precious man of God that is afflicted with my spiritual father was telling me this story. He wanted to pray. He had applied for PhD in his prior study. He wasn't even looking for sponsorship. First time. Second time. Third time. <laughs> He felt in that, go and pray. Then we pray two hours here, three hours there. Boy, the thing didn't gauge. You can boil rice one, 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 one minute for 20 minutes. It won't boil. One minute, you put it off. You come back one minute, you put it off. One minute. But you need to boil it 20 minutes at his church without putting it off the fire. So he sat down one Saturday. I was praying, praying, praying. At the eighth hour of the prayer, he was saying, God has shown me his marvelous kindness in his strong He was saying that thing. He was saying it continuously. Then at the eighth hour, he said, God has shown me his marvelous kindness. And he could not pronounce strong anymore. Because the city was not strong again. 
So he said, God has shown me his marvelous kindness in a city. He told me, he said, I knew I had victory there. He said, but I still stretched it one more hour. That's excellence in the things of the Spirit. He stretched it. It's not only him they approved that year. Everybody that got to that table was approved. Over power. I've been praying before like that. One time, money was not coming into my hands. I stood up. It was that night to travel where there was no money coming. So I was wondering what was going. If anybody remembers, there was one of those night trip. I was standing behind there. I'm praying to and fro like this. That year, I got home that night, and somebody just sent me money. I said, "Oh, he just remembered me." That's how your name towers I. One day we had sown our seeds. Uh, we have been praying. The favor of God is on our heads like a neon sign. Power, power, encounters with power. Then somebody sent us half a million. I called, and he does not send us money normally. That was 2020. And then I said, Sir, it is strange. Sir, why, why me? He said, Even me, oh, the money was not for you. He said, I was supposed to send it to another man of God that I send money to regularly. I said, So what now? He said, I didn't find his account number. And I sent money to him every time. But I was looking for the account number. I didn't find it. Then the Holy Spirit told me that the money was not for him, it's for Pastor Tara. That's it. That's what it means to stand tall. Even you. Have you reviewed applications before? How many of you have marked papers for your parents or for anybody around you before? Plenty of papers like this. You know that if some names don't tower high, everybody will hear the same thing. You know how you decide the fate of people. How many CEOs have time to go through 100,000 applications? Your name must look familiar. They must say, ah, this is the name of my daughter now. They were telling us when, that when she applied for something and she had made a mistake in that application, that woman has already put the file where that application will not go forward and she let me just take it home then the daughter went and sat down and started going through the files of people that have been rejected and got to her name and stopped why did you stop his eyes and open and say ah this person went to my secondary school now mommy this person went to my secondary that's how she entered and got the position right you are standing tall there are encounters of the god kind of the favor of God is on you. He was going through a rough time. No rough time financially, just rough time. Then he traveled to Germany. They said, Come, come and go to Germany. The him and his boss, they went. They entered the store, you know. Ah, let us just go and buy something. As they were going, he said, as he was there, he was just praying. That's what you should learn to do. Just be praying. Just keep praying. Just keep praying. Something is shifting. They were inside the car that was taking them back to their hotel. Then his boss looked at him. He said, There's this particular. I said, that time he was not even thinking about any money, anything. There's this particular project in hundreds of millions that another officer is handling my heart is telling me to give it to you that that officer should get it off the job take the job go and undo the contract see you need to understand that the things that will move you to the place of your prosperity is with another man is with another man just saying yes or no there are places where your name is being mentioned if you have worked in an office you understand what i'm saying that as they were talking like this, it was just like, no, 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 vehement, no, that's all. Low. Prophetic words have been spoken because of the prophetic word. Your name is walking into the corridor of greatness, but people are saying no because you're not standing tall. You are standing tall in this season. Come into the corridors of power, enter the corridors of power. You are breaking into exclusive circles. Take your job. Behold, I set before you an open door which no man can shut. God is setting before you an open door. No man can shut it and your legs are entering into those doors. See, if you don't pray, the hearts of the men that can say yes to you, other men are using forces to turn that heart in their direction. See, it's easy to turn the hearts of men to you, but it takes earnest prayer. So you can release power to quieting the forces that have risen up in the horizon to make sure your head is not standing tall you are not talking you are not speaking you just wake up you just live like a normal human being all day and your life is not going well you are not programming everything you know how to say is i'm depressed i don't feel happy how can your life move forward you better sit down and pray till your voice changes before they cripple you 
wake up, talk to your bank account. Talk to your job. Talk to everything. Keep speaking. Keep praying. Keep speaking. Wage a good warfare. Stretch. Can you complain that you are jobless? No joblessness. Someone say, I'm jobless. I'm jobless. I'm bored. I'm jobless. I'm jobless. You are jobless. You are bored. What happened to prayer? Is prayer not work? Evangelism is there. You're not going to do. No true Christian is supposed to be jobless. And rearrange everywhere. Speak. Your head is standing tall. They will say, so submit your document. You say, ah, you know, I put my document in order. Where they used to fling document out. No. You can't rely on your acumen. No. You can't rely on your good behavior. This environment is too competitive for that. Men are chanting over the hearts of men breakthrough like that for my spiritual father one house came out think about it that means that one house was in a decision of a man you don't have to save to buy car you can land four cars in a month because a man said yes before you know you have bought land in estate all this and i say how much is this land they say it's 25 million per plot you will now be calculating how many years you will have lived before you can get to where that money can. oh may you not live a miserable life oh How you will just wake up one morning and say, I feel like buying a shower that they built holiday house. They look, they say, Ah, we are not living in this city where the holiday house is. We need another house. And they went, I bought down. Like that. Like that. But then it is the decision of men. Every man that has been holding your wealth releases it now as i'm speaking this evening everybody that has refused to say yes for your upliftment that they have been talking to the person let us help this person now let us help this person now and they have been saying no 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 today god is changing their hearts the art of the king is in the hand of god that means the art of the king turns by divine providence it is in prayers that we push the hands of divine providence in our favor pray and number three encounters with the prophet standing tall in life encounters with pictures encounters with the power of god and then encounters with the prophet and samuel anointed david as Samuel anointed him, he became tall. He became tall. Encounters with the prophet makes you tall. Saul was roaming around. Though. Saul, that's what he was doing. He was roaming around. He met Samuel and his name entered by Bible. Who will have cared about his head? His head became tall. Encounters. One encounter with the prophet can be greater than 1,000 hours of prayer be greater than 1,000 hours of prayer. Samuel said, when you leave my presence, this is somebody that nobody knew before. Saul, the son of Kish, Kilishi. He said, you will meet two men. They are going on their own. Imagine you are going on the road. Somebody just looks at you and gives you all the things they carry. Won't you know that that's favor? Uh-huh. That's what happened to Saul. Now, you have not been reading it as favor. His head is too tall. You will know that the person saw something on you that made him give that thing to you. You can't be trying to work for everything. You look at people and say, I work for everything. Everything that comes into your house, you work for it. That's a cause. One of our young men in those days, he entered his client's place. He can't say, Have I given you Christmas gifts? That's head tall. It's because of prophetic encounter. I say, I, I know, sir, you have not given me Christmas gift. I say, I'm coming. He entered. He thought the man will bring 50,000 naira. The man said, this is your car. I don't like it. And change this car for him as Christmas gift. Your client. That order of favor is resting upon you. The favor that makes a man's face to shine. That lifts the head of a man in the midst of a multitude is landing upon you. Then Samuel said, they will give you the three loaves of bread. The only other place in the Bible where he spoke about giving somebody three loaves of bread was in Luke chapter 11, when Jesus said, if you go and knock on the door of your friend, it is by your importunity 
that he will be say before you weary me out take these three loaves of bread take that means that what you will get by importunity in prayers one word of the prophet can put it in your hands because one man is knocking his friends door, knocking his friends door. another man was roaming around just one encounter with Samuel they both got the same thing one had stressed himself it's good to pray but one word from the prophet one encounter with the prophet will do sometimes what 1000 hours of prayers can do when God wants to answer your prayers it shortens the distance between you and the anointed my God is lifting you up One of our young ladies contacted me. Sir, there's this project. I said, okay. I want to lead it. And that's where we are going. I said, okay, no problem. National project. I said, no problem. Then she came and brought her first half a million and sold. That's the thing most people miss. That the thing that provokes that blessing from the art of the anointed is venison. Is what? venison Isaac called Esau why didn't he just say my son I'm about to die kneel down my God will bless you many of you can sing to make yourself cry prophet can sing to make yourself cry but if you touch him with seed and he turns to you and breathes is enough prophet looking at you and crying and praying over you oh, praying over you is different from speaking words over you many people can pray more than the pastor now there are people that pray more than pastor it's not the praying more than the pastor that is the problem it's the thing that is on the head of the pastor that is needed don't forget this thing as he said go and fetch me venison so that my soul will rise i will eat then i will bless you rebecca ate. rebecca said wait 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 jacob 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 he said sir quickly 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 why did you just say go and disguise meet your father no his soul must rise he cooked the thing set it before isaac isaac said are you really my son Esau?" he said yes i'm the one he said how have you come back so quickly he said the lord your god brought it to me and isaac did not argue meaning that he knew that the life of a blessed man is one that does not hustle christians are hard working and should be hard working no but we don't hustle then he drew that guy and laid hands on him that is when his prophetic clock started ticking before that time he was living life anyhow because from there the next thing as he was running away encounters before that time he has never had encounters though. neither did Esau have any encounter but as soon as Isaac drew him and laid hands on him encounters this young lady so that's it all I told I said you will be on that place God will lift you there you will sit down there after sowing that seed the boss just came and got angry with everybody they are not doing their work what is all this in fact do you want to be there i asked her what i've been asking you since of course with all pleasure i was telling somebody today about that project somebody who's a top person in this you know i was telling person that ah, one of my own people was in charge of this particular project they knew the project that is an extraordinary testimony but it was just an encounter she can't tell you that she was praying 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 one of the young men reached me. I said, How are you doing? He said, I'm fine. I said, How many contracts do you have in front of you? He said, Four. I said, You will get all four. <laughs> I said, Count. <laughs> Let me know when you are ticking off each of them. <laughs> Don't struggle. Your company must have a redeeming pattern. Your business of giving, of putting something substantial in the hands of the anointed regularly. That's what we bend the forces of time and chance in your favor. That's what we make time and chance. That you are in the right place at the right time every time. It's with your seeds. Don't you so stress myself. Oh. This year, when they called me, I said, Sir, I said, Yes, they said, We well, have eight, eight figures. I said, Now, now, so that thing. You know, I was still trying to look at some calculations. Okay, we need this. I said, Forget what we need. So that thing. You must show your destiny that what you are looking for is greater than what your ability can fetch for you. You know what you used to carry that type of money? Huh? You know what you can do? There's crusade in front of us. Supernatural life conference is coming. So many things are coming. How ah, is that thing going to happen? All you need for supernatural life conference is my voice and the speaker. The remaining one is just at the end of that seed must go first. Because I can put poster for supernatural life conference. Only angels can announce me. That's me of unless the Lord builds a house, 
you just be building in vain. You got that small eight digit you cannot give. You say, we have this project, we have this project, we have this project. And in front of you, your next destiny is building. You are supposed to be building. Can that money build? Unless it's odd, you want to build for a church. Maybe it will build us 100 sita. Can we contain 100 sita? Let time and chance work for you. When you have encounters with the prophet, you start standing tall. There's something about gathering a seed to sow. That's what enlarges you. It's not just about waiting for money to come. Then when money has come, from it, you now sow. It's different from going to a target. You are packing something. Many people who have done that thing, that this is my target and I'm going there, they will just notice that they are increasing and enlarging to that target. Because that's where enlargement is. It's not in giving out of convenience. It is in giving out of commitment. Sacrificially. Redeemically. In a pattern. You are going to pray. Say, Lord, I'm standing tall. Do you know the implication of this thing? It's princes that can do something about Nigeria. A country is not greater than its people, not its president. Not its president, its people. It's princes we need in this nation. You are the princes. You are not praying for somebody else. You are praying for yourself. Lord, if I will enter into places of honor, I must stand tall. I must stand tall. Cause me to stand tall. Go ahead and pray that prayer. And you are outrunning the chariot of the kings. He has made your feet like Ein's feet. He is causing you to walk upon your high places. As I'm speaking, I'm seeing the energy of God entry into your feet. Take it in the name of Jesus. Very soon, you will put money together. You will be thinking you are stretching. No? Ah, I've stretched, I've stretched. Let me even check. It should be like 700,000. You will find 70 million there. Your heart will have grown so big. Figures don't mean anything to you. He has drawn you out of many waters he has brought you into your large place prosper prosper lift your hands give him praise this evening give him praise what a refreshing time in the word it has been we believe you've been blessed by god's word and have received encounters for mighty miracles to download more messages like this one or listen to the full conference message please visit our website at www.thestandingchurch.com. There you will find an abundance of resources to help you grow in your Christian walk and deliver miracles of destiny to you. If you have never made the decision to be saved and would like to receive Jesus into your life or rededicate your life to Him, please say the following words out loud. Lord Jesus, I confess you as Lord over my life. I believe that you died for me and that God raised you from the dead. I receive all that you have made available for me through your death, burial, and resurrection. I declare right now that I am a child of God. I am free from sin, and I am the righteousness of God. Amen. Congratulations, you are now saved. We are so glad you made the decision to receive Christ today. Please write to us at plus 234-813-477-3145 to share your salvation testimony with us today. In or around the city of Ibadan, we invite you to join us at the Dominion Center for each of our services in the week. Join us on Sundays for our worship service by 9 a.m. and our teaching services on Mondays by 5 p.m. Our prayer and communion services on Fridays by 5 p.m. Each of these services are put together to deliver God's word and power to you and bring you into the life of prosperity, health, dominion, and liberty that God has ordained for you. Not in a battle. Don't miss out. Our services and special meetings are streamed online via our Mixer and YouTube platform at The Standing Church. We look forward to having you worship with us. God bless you. We would also like you to join us for our weekend of total transformation. Join us for each of these power-packed meetings at the end of April. Join us for our Kingdom Vision service on Friday 26 April by 5 p.m. to receive the word and power of God to energize you to fulfill Kingdom purposes. Also, join us for the April edition of our monthly art enlargement on Saturday, 27th April by 12 p.m. Come and receive pictures of possibilities from God's Word. And finally, to wrap up the month and be ushered into the month of May prophetically, 
Join us for our Thanksgiving, Communion and Breakthrough service by 9 a.m. on Sunday, 28 April. We look forward to receiving you at each of these meetings. God bless you. We also invite you to join us for Heart Enlargement Special. This destiny-defining meeting is our annual citywide crusade where we have the privilege of hosting the visionary Manifold Grace Ministries. Dates, July 12th and July 13th, 2024. Venue, the International Conference Center, University of Ibadan, Ibadan, or your state, Nigeria. Don't miss this crowning encounter with God. It will be a time of miracles, healings, deliverances, breakthroughs, and transformation. God bless you. We cannot wait to hear your testimonies, and we look forward to having you connect with us. Please write to us at thestandingchurch at gmail.com or call us on plus 234-813-477-3145 or connect with us via our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at The Standing Church. We love you and God bless you.